guys. So it's Thunderstick time. Got my CVA Acura black powder rifle and uh, headed out this morning to see if I can't slip on uh, a buck. I'm calling Bully. Uh, he's always at uh, uh, the Pine Island feeder and every time he's there, he's uh, his ears are pinned back and he's pushing other deer around. Uh, passing back, uh, headed towards his bedding area uh, from an area where I think he's out feeding and he hits a certain feeder. Uh, which is about probably a good quarter mile away from where I'm going. So anyway, we'll see what we've got. We've got 150 grain powder, uh, 50 caliber power belt bullet, and uh, and a gun that shoots real straight. So we'll see you up in a tree stand.
is down. He is down. He is down. Just like I planned. The only deer I saw this morning. He's been, he's an aggressive buck. And he's been going to the feeder out there. And he's always left before daylight. And I assumed that he was bedding behind me. And uh, I saw two active scrapes down this line. And, uh, and so, anyway, I thought he might come one of these trails and and so I didn't hunt yesterday because the wind was wrong. And actually it was bow season yesterday. And so we got muzzle load today. I had it in a plan to sit right here. Oh, I keep sleeping. Oh, so that's my first Georgia buck on this property. I'm so pumped up. Oh, I wish Randy was here. Uh, he'd be pumped up. down 80 yards away CPA accurate put him down I mean, he dropped wow let's go check out this buck I am so jazzed up I don't know if you can tell that yet let's go find a buck <laughs> I'm trying to text my wife all I can do is BBD because my hands are shaking <laughs> <laughs> ah, this never gets old. Oh, so, so grateful for this buck. <laughs> we don't have the biggest tracking job <laughs> since he uh, dropped right in the lane. There's my stand that I was shooting out of. And the sun's just coming up. Made an early day of it. Like this. Georgia Buck. First Georgia Buck. Come on, gather. Yep. first Georgia buck um, I was pumped up and excited to get him I got him he's a uh, he's a nice buck he's three and a half what a what a beautiful day beautiful morning and I uh, thank the good Lord for this buck look at that <laughs> he's a big old body boy I wish someone was here to help me drag him out. Oh well, get to work. All right, so I gotta load him up solo. At 57, I'm not gonna try to hoist that sucker. Um, I don't know how much he weighs, but 160 pounds, 170 pounds, something like that. He's not small. And uh, my neighbors, they're still hunting. It's only about 9.15. So I've got a couple of winches and a come along. 
We'll see if I can get it done. Wouldn't mind being 28 right now. We're having a 28 year old here. That'd be cool. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Back's fine. All right, so it's off to the processor now. What a great morning, and I tell you what, that hunt came together just perfectly. Uh, actually, when I got back to the house, I checked some game camera pics uh, from our spy point cameras that send us pics every couple hours. And he was out on the Pine Island feeder, like I thought, at about 3 a.m., 5 a.m., 7.25 a.m. And, uh, you know, just showing his dominance and pushing things around. So he's not the oldest buck out here, or the biggest for sure. Uh, but uh, these aggressive bucks, they're the easiest ones to kill early season. So um, I get two bucks in Georgia, and uh, so he's number one. Number two uh, is gonna be something, uh, one, of, one of our bigger target bucks. But I wanted to try to get him. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of excited I was able to uh, pattern what he was doing through trail cam picks and uh, so the stand that I sat today uh, first first sit um, we have not sat it before uh, and uh, I cleaned out the, the walk-in lane to make it nice and quiet about three days ago and then I didn't come hunt over here the wind was wrong so the wind was in my face while he was walking down this um, little breezeway and uh, from the Pine Island feeder which is 300 yards from here and uh, going back there to bed somewhere don't know where and he was munching along the way so worked out perfectly pretty pumped up about that appreciate you following along and uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll see you up in a tree real soon because I'll be back at it see you guys